In an exclusive conversation with Vion, World is One, India's envoy to Vietnam said that Hanoi appreciated the scale of action taken by India in response to COVID-19. Ambassador Pranay Varma talked about the similarities in the approaches adopted by both countries with respect to social distancing and lockdown measures. Listen in to this exclusive conversation. How is the Indian mission reaching out to stranded Indians in the ASEAN country? Our embassy and the consulate general in Ho Chi Minh City uh, have actively been reaching out to Indian nationals who are held up in Vietnam in the wake of travel restrictions. Uh, most people who are stranded in Vietnam are tourists and business travelers or short-term visitors who could not return to India before the travel restrictions came up. Uh, we have uh, extensively used social media tools to inform all our Indian nationals in Vietnam, uh, including community members who live in Vietnam, as well as those who are visiting Vietnam and are held up about our 24-7 emergency coordinates. We have also launched an online drive for registering Indian nationals in Vietnam. We are encouraging them uh, to contact us for any assistance. How are India and Vietnam cooperating when it comes to the COVID pandemic? Uh, are we sending HCQ to them or are we importing any kits or something from that country? Uh, Prime Minister Modi spoke telephonically with uh, Prime Minister of Vietnam on April 13 and discussed the situation uh, arising out of the pandemic and the steps uh, uh, our two countries are taking to address the challenge. Uh, we are also engaged uh, through diplomatic channels exchanging information on best practices. Uh, India traditionally plays the role of a major provider of pharmaceuticals to Vietnam. Uh, this engagement has continued during the COVID-19 outbreak. The Vietnamese side has appreciated the enormity and scale of action uh, taken in India to enforce social distancing uh, through lockdown. Similarly, we are uh, also regularly updating authorities in India about uh, developments in Vietnam.